Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn how to send an email using SendGrid API service in Node.js. Also, I will show you how to send a custom email as well as a dynamic email by choosing a dynamic template from SendGrid uh, dashboard. So let's get started. First of all, uh, you need to go to this uh, sendgrid.com website. So here onwards, uh, uh, like uh, you can create your uh, account. Uh, you can click on uh, start for free. So I have already created my account. So once you create your account and uh, login, this is my dashboard. If you are logging to the website for the first time, then it will ask you to verify your sender authentication. That means uh, on the settings uh, tab, you can find sender authentication. So here you can see my verification is already uh, completed. So that's why it is uh, showing verified. So from your side, you need to click on verify a single sender. So it will ask you to enter some details. So why it is needed is so SendGrid needs to know from which account, uh, from which mail uh, you are sending uh, mails to other people in order to comply with uh, all the laws. So you, you need to provide your name, the email uh, which uh, uh, from which you want to send email. You can also uh, keep your um, from mail and to mail same. So end of the day, like uh, you will uh, receive a mail uh, verification mail with a link. So when you click on that link, uh, your verification will get completed. So I have already created my sender authentication and completed. So I'm just canceling it. If your process is completed, then you will uh, see similar uh, like this. So once this is done, uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, uh, under settings. So we need to uh, create an API key. So here you can uh, click on create API key. So you can give a name uh, here. Uh, you can give a restricted access. Uh, uh, basically, we are demonstrating uh, for just for sending mails, right? Uh, so under the restricted access, you can select mail send option. So here you can choose both. So basically, if you expand, it will uh, tell you more. So mail send and scheduled uh, sends. So this is what we need and uh, you can create and view so you can see uh, for security reasons uh, they will only show you once so you need to uh, when you click on this uh, key it will get copied automatically so let me open my vs code so i have uh, created a project folder in vs code so here i am creating a dot env file so here i am pasting this uh, uh, api key uh, i will come back to this in a moment okay let's go back let's click on them all right so we have uh, verified our authentication as well as we have created an api key now if you go to this npm package uh, which is sendgrid mail so you you can type sendgrid npm so you can uh, go to the first link so here you can see uh, what are the prerequisites like you need a node version okay uh, also you need a uh, Twilio SendGrid account so uh, which is uh, what we have created right and then uh, like if you see uh, you can send up to 40,000 emails for the first 30 days and after that uh, you can send 100 emails per day if you are in, on the free plan so uh, make sure to check out your pricing as per your need so we have uh, already obtained uh, an api key so the next thing is uh, okay we will come back to the environment variables so next thing is we need to install this uh, sungrid package so let me copy this so i have opened uh, powershell uh, on this uh, project path so here we need to install sungrid mail package as well as I'm going to install one more one, uh, which is uh, .env for managing the environment variables. Okay, now I will create a file uh, in this project folder. Uh, so first of all, we will uh, verify the custom mail. So I will create a file with the name sendcustommail.js. Let's go back to this uh, uh, package, npm package. So we have already verified our identity. So let's start with the quick start guide. I will uh, copy this code to save some time. So let's uh, take this code. Okay. So let's take this uh, key name and provide uh, to our uh, API key. 
so this is the sun grid key and uh, this is the api value so uh, in order to use the environment variables like uh, we have installed a dot env package right let's uh, import that here we need to call config method uh, what it will do is it will attach the environment variables which are present in this dot uh, env file to our uh, system environment variables so that uh, you will be able to access process dot env dot uh, the api key name so this is a uh, mandatory if if you are using a dot env file so here i will update uh, the uh, receiver uh, mail address so i will provide my personal mail so here again i will use the uh, uh, environment variable for the from address so this from address uh, uh, should be your uh, uh, like the email address or the domain you have verified above right all right uh, like in case like you want to send uh, the mail to multiple people like you need to place that uh, recipient uh, mail address in this uh, array of uh, uh, addresses here i would like to like uh, let me update this uh, here i want to provide a name so i'm just uh, naming it channel name and here you can provide the email uh, so which is the from email so i will i will tell you like uh, why we are using this uh, two things okay so let's keep this uh, subject and uh, text and html uh, for now uh, the difference like what is the difference for uh, text and html is generally it will uh, use the html uh, that you have provided in case like if there is a problem uh, with uh, rendering html then it will fall back to the text version and it will uh, display this uh, text in that mail uh, body okay let's go back to the npm package so here you you can either choose this option or uh, the this option i will uh, copy code inside uh, this one so i will uh, create a function send mail and then i will assign to this uh, so here i'm not using this uh, ify pattern so this is called uh, if we function call immediately invoked function i'm just saving this function in this uh, name so that i can call whenever i want okay so here if you observe the code base it is uh, very simple so this is a async function so inside we are having a try catch block and uh, here we are calling uh, using this uh, ungrid mail library so we are calling a send method by passing this uh, message options so which contains the two from address subject and body so after this call i will try to log all right so uh, let's save uh, both the files so i am inside uh, the terminal let's execute this okay i have uh, received this message uh, let let's verify from that uh, recipient mail address so i'm i have uh, provided a two address uh, this this mail address so let me open that so if i refresh you can see the name web wizard right so this is the this is what uh, we have provided here right uh, and then you can see this is the subject and if you open this is that uh, mail uh, body okay so this is very simple right like uh, we are sending mail uh, with the simple uh, html and a simple uh, text so now let's see uh, how to create a dynamic template and how to send a mail using the dynamic template uh, from sendgrid so let's go back to sendgrid account uh, so on the dashboard like you can find uh, email api uh, menu uh, if you expand this you can find dynamic templates option so here you can see uh, we can create our dynamic template uh, you can click on this uh, create okay you can give an any name so once it is created like uh, you can uh, select this one it will uh, okay so currently you can observe it has given a template id so we need this id uh, also let's uh, let's add a version like so you can click on add version so here you can see it is currently showing a blank template so we need to uh, select our email design 
so you can select this and grid email designs so you can see they have a variety of options so i will choose a welcome template after you sign up so if you scroll down like you can find one welcome sign up email template so i will choose this one so when you hover on this you can able to select this so you can uh, either select a design editor or a code editor so it is up to you like whether you want to edit the html or you can simply drag and drop uh, uh, to edit the design so I, i'm choosing this uh, recommended one so let's select this so the version has been created so this is what uh, it is uh, uh, showing so you can see it, it is uh, providing a subject like you will you can edit uh, the subject you if you want so i'm just keeping it uh, as it is so now uh, you, you can uh, edit the template if you want uh, uh, like uh, you can select any element and you can simply edit that so here i will uh, edit this uh, heading so here i would like to uh, add the dynamic uh, username like uh, so i will be using a placeholder uh, so this will so this is called dynamic template data so this is a placeholder so i'm choosing this name uh, so in our mail while sending mail so we need to pass this uh, data uh, so that it will be uh, replaced uh, with that particular name so let me uh, make this change and once you uh, edit this you need to save the changes otherwise uh, your changes won't reflect so let's click on the save button all right uh, so let's go back okay so let's uh, take this uh, template id so let's go back to the code base so i will be creating one more uh, environment variable which is a uh, template id okay so now uh, let's create a new file another file so this time we will send a dynamic mail so uh, let me use the same code but uh, with a uh, slight way uh, changes so i will remove subject test and uh, html from this uh, place so here we need to provide the template id uh, with the camel case so here uh, we need to access the environment variable okay also uh, we need to remember that you know uh, we have to pass the uh, dynamic template id right so dynamic template id sorry template data so this is an object with the, the properties like here we need to name the property as name because uh, so this is what the placeholder we have given right so i'm just naming it as uh, harry okay so this is my uh, dynamic information and uh, so again this uh, options will be passed to this uh, send method okay so let's save the changes okay so now i'm executing this so again uh, email is successfully sent so let's go back and verify some mail address again okay i i have received one more mail so this time uh, you can see again uh, name and uh, uh, you can see the subject and here i can see uh, the template that we have chosen from the sungrid uh, service main thing is uh, like you can see the placeholder has been uh, replaced with the value that we have provided that's all about the video guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching do give a like and subscribe let's meet in the next video until then take care bye